Empire Strikes Back is the name of this episode. Uh, we're going to examine the uh, what appears to be the Neo Imperial reboot. My view is that the, uh, our American Empire, which we're a part, is um, is corrupt. I saw an interesting thing on Facebook recently where it had the people who've died from American imperialism since the end of World War II. It's somewhere in the vicinity of 30 million people. They're hellish scenarios that we are unleashing around the world. Our economic system was primarily bankrupt maybe 40 years ago. The system is capitalism and we're returning to this Dickensian sort of level of inequality. Capitalism has to develop a more socialist side, a more um, a more caring side, because it's just become mega greedy. But let's not go to war with with Ukraine or Syria or Iran or Russia or China. Let's invade the Cayman Islands. If they collect enough data on every level about as many people as they can, they can see behavioural patterns. The revelations of the NSA and Snowden, I mean, go far beyond the dreams of the Gestapo and the Stasi. I'm sort of quite certain Snowden is the authority's answer to Julian Assange. In relation to the rape issue, it was like, he didn't wear a condom, if that's rape, I think we're all in trouble. Why doesn't yeah. Putin just invade and get over and done Because, like, he's going to have to do it. He doesn't want to take the bait. No, but he doesn't want his Vietnam. Who wants their Vietnam on their doorstep? Yeah, I, guess I mean, who wants it? And, I mean, the Chinese obviously have read their uh, Lao Tzu and are sitting there, you know what I mean, letting the opposition run around and exhaust themselves yes, like a mad dog. I guess you could have a, some kind of European Union leadership or you could have a Russian or a China one. It's a huge NATO prod into Russia's belly. Mm -hmm. And then they will just, you know, insert the Chinese dragon sword and then that'll be the end of us. Yeah.